third option is A. Mike Story, speeding down the floor and duplicates a lob pass. Sometimes one is just not flashy. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Dort and Williams up in the forward positions. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Valanciunas and at the center filling out the middle. And for the Heat, the wingmen, it's Hero and Butler. John Collins is out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Bouye in at the point guard position. And we know Greg most of the talk coming into this game focused on the front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. Gilgis Alexander finds Williams. Move around, move around. Got it, got it. Here's Dort. They get it back. Yeah, so hard to move a mountain, trust me. Major damage on the boards being done by Valanciunas. Outside hero. Here's Bouye. Kicks it out to hero. Over Giddy. Hero no good. And it's Oklahoma City's ball. with it. And the layup fall. Josh. The handle of Giddy is something to behold. Here's Bouye. He'll just Alexander cover. Hero kicks to Collins. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. His presence as a scorer, it, it just here. has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Oh, here's Giddy. Nice game he had 13. And it's Bouillier with the rebound. A little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. The kick outside to Butler. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. For Oklahoma City, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. And the shot goes down. Good to see Gilgis Alexander's playmaking evolving here, wanting to get it to the open teammate. Butler against Dort. Butler, no good. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And Giddy gets it to go. Inside, Giddy has to count on some creativity and some agility. Hard for him to muscle through the defense. Right, you just don't see many point guards taller than 6'8". But Josh Giddy is one of them. And Josh does a great job, Greg, of using that size to his advantage. He gets into positions on the floor where he can see over the level of the defense and make some spectacular passes. And here is Gilgis Alexander. After Jimmy Butler made that last three-pointer, Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Tries to save it. To the paint. Shots good by Butler. Butler's got five points so far. Tough points from a tough customer. Jimmy Butler just inviting the contact. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And how can you not love the game? of SGA. I mean, a young guard who continues to get better. Yeah, Greg, all the reports you get out of OKC okay, is that Greg. this kid is a Two worker, shot. and he has turned himself into an all-star with that kind of work ethic. And the first one at the line is good. 
In that 2018 draft, you think about those names, Doncic, Young, Aiton, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Boy, that's a lot to begin with. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. So when we're talking about team identities, uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough-nosed, aggressive, and hard-working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place, and that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. Now here's Giddy. He has six. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. Dort against Butler. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The Heat trail by three. Here's Hero. Nice defense from Giddy. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. Now, here's Valanciunas. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. For Miami, they've gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Hero kicks to Butler. Score of the basket is third after five shots. Defense had the right idea there, but maybe not enough time in the weight room. Butler right through that. Giddy with the bounce pass. Another shot. Valanciunas uses the glass to finish the way. Valanciunas has got his second bucket of the night. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Here's Bouye. Still yet to score. He dishes it to Collins. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. John Collins having no problem that time playing through the contact. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And with a percentage of 82, he's been one of their more dependable shooters from the line. First team foul. Now at the line, John Collins. And it's tied up with that one. And Brent, we're coming down the home stretch of the regular season. It has been some kind of year in this league. Every year we get great storylines. We're always surprised by one or two things that came out of nowhere. And that's the great thing about this game. It just keeps evolving and it keeps all of us guessing. And this is why people look at Valanciunas as a walking double-double. That size it allows him to dominate the glass. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Valanciunas. One. Line the lanes. Line the lanes. One shot. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. And Valanciunas, a uh, seasoned veteran now that you basically can count on as a double-double guy, even in limited minutes. Really does a great job of controlling the paint. Now, here's Collins. Trying to claw his way back after a terrible showing in that loss to Boston. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Good, nice job down low. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for Miami. It's a five-point game. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there. And I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. Now you can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. The kick outside to Butler. Shoots over Dort, and it's Butler missing. 
That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And there's the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Pass to Bouye. Hero against Giddy. Outside, Hero. And they get it. Thunder with the rebound. The last encounter was in Oklahoma City. Yeah, really ratcheted up the pressure in their last matchup, getting steals and just creating havoc defensively. The turnover margin was well within their favor, and you have to point to that ferocious D they played as the biggest factor in that win. Now here's Giddy after Tyler Hero's miss for three. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off a second chance bucket. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. And some changes here for the Heat. Love check in for John Collins. Duncan Robinson comes in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Kennard in for Hero. Here's Bouye. Nothing on the board. Good D by Gildas Alexander. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Here's Kennard. The Thunder making the shot. Kicks it to Love. Over Williams. Love, no luck. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. And the basket is good. Hilgis Alexander's got six. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Here's Jaquez. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Boston. Six to shoot. Here's Bouye. Here's Love from the arc. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Holmgren the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And they call an illegal screen here. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. The Heat trail by 14. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now a timeout called by Miami. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. Looking now at some numbers for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's been dominant over the last month, averaging 32 points, nine assists, and four rebounds. And it says a lot that when we see numbers like this from him, we aren't even shocked. He, he's that good. Yeah, we really have just grown to get used to his greatness, and that's the level for him that he's on right now. Love high post. Marquez the pass to Kennard. Here's Bouye. Scoreless thus far. Love, no good. Well, he definitely forced that shot, guys. He had plenty of time to adjust himself and kick the ball out and look for a better shot. Have to give credit to the defense there, too. The Heat trail by 14. Here's Bouye. And that time, also a missed shot. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. You know, fought hard from start to finish on that play. Defended the shot and then finished it off with the rebound. Again, the miss by the Heat. The Thunder leading by 14. And here's Edwards from the arc. Bangs home the trifecta. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Passes to Kennard. Floats one up. 
Love kicks to Kanaw. Here's Hawkes. Looking in his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Pass to Love. Here's Hawkes, defended by Holmgren. And there's the call on Chet Holmgren. That is his first foul of the game. We've got 108 left in the first quarter of the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Hawkes. Holmgren with the block. Unreal stretch from Holmgren there. Allows him to alter or block a shot just about every time someone's in his area. The Heat trail by 19. Now here is Robinson. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Boston. He kicks it to Love. To stop the drought, Hawkes can't hit. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Oklahoma City. Holmgren finds Gilgis Alexander. Here's Joe. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Holmgren against Kennard. Nobody on him. He buries the jumper. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. It's the Thunder up 19. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Thunder here, they've been putting on a show, guys. Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. And here is Hero. Still scoreless. So the Thunder 5 right now. The post pair form will be Williams and Holmgren. Then it's Lou Dort. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's Joe it's in at the point guard. Now let's have a quick look at some of the league's top defenders in the season's second half. Number one, Jimmy Butler. Defensively, he's been a club. I mean, he has just been blanketing his opponents. A pass to Holmgren. Back to Williams. And he makes good on the layup. And the Thunder lead by 21. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. And here we are watching Jalen Williams. Brent, there's a certain calm to his game, isn't there? Yeah, he's comfortable because he really can do a lot of things on the floor. So there's nothing that's going to really shut him down. It's very hard to speed this guy up. He gets an opportunity to play at his pace. That's a gift. The shot's good from Kennard. Kennard doesn't take a lot of mid-range jumpers, but he's efficient. Oklahoma City leading by 19 points. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Jimmy Butler made some headlines a while back when he said he wished the NBA would allow more of the scrapping we saw in decades past. So would I. He says that would suit his game, though. Jimmy said, I want to run into people and see who falls down first. Who's going to quit first? That's the style of basketball I like to play. Kevin? Ah, uh, yep, you're right. And it shows, D.A., it shows. Thank you so much. And the rejection by Holmgren. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Giddy. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Three points. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for the Thunder. 
uh, how about the ferocity we have seen from them on defense? I mean, they're looking to contest every shot that goes up. Yeah, I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do, because right now they feel like the faster team. Now, here's Holmgren. After Tyler, Heroes miss. Hey, yo, right here. Pass to Holmgren. There's the three. Kennard with the rebound. The Heat have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. They get the rebound. And then Collins slams it in. What a dunker this guy is. Collins capable of bringing this crowd out of their seats. Giddy against Kennard. Giddy the pass to Dort. Pass to Holmgren. Rocket six. That three off the mark. The Heat have gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Outside Butler. Adebayo kicks to Kennard. Outside Butler. The Trey trains the three-pointer. Butler's got 10 points in the game. Butler assertive on offense and taking some pride here, setting the tone for the team tonight. Here's Holmgren. Falls through. He's now made two of four. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Hero with it. 29 points for him last game against Boston. He also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls, so he's creating havoc for the defense. Now, Hero, just four to shoot. 18 feet out. Kennard's shot is off. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. It's good. 16 points for him. And Giddy, one of those guys who really can stuff the stat sheet. Dort against Butler. Right side, Collins. Poked away. Now Williams. A 14-point game for him in the win against Dallas. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Here's Kennard. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. The Thunder leading by 21. Giddy the pass to Holmgren. Over Adebayo. And there's Holmgren. That's good. On the assist from Giddy. Josh. And he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Outside Hero. And the Heat. Another three. Now producing from behind the arc. That is huge stuff from Tyler Hero. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. First personal foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Two shots. Relax on the first. And he makes the first. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, uh, and, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and, and doing things we've just never seen before. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Since entering the league, Tyler Hero has had higher expectations for himself than anybody else. With that kind of size as a guard and his shooting ability, he very much will realize it. Alan Junis, good. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. 
Here's Butler. He's got 10. And there's the foul that goes on Jimmy Butler. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Gilgis Alexander against Hero. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's covered closely, and there's the feet to Valen Junis. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Just five to shoot. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area. And the defense gets away with one there. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. And the Heat call time here. You have to like what you're seeing, guys, from Josh Giddy. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether, but, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Edwards has checked in. Pass to Bouye. Outside Butler. Inside. And that one's good. Bouye. Penny plays like that. And what Jimmy Butler is all about, he knows where the defense is. Robinson against Giddy. Sinks the three-pointer. Giddy's got 19 points. Pretty much uh, poor defensive effort there. You have to get a hand in his face when he's spotting up from distance. Edwards against Butler. Pass to Hawkes. Robbed up there for Collins. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Gilgis Alexander passes to Edwards. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Knocked away. Here's Bouye. Gilgis Alexander cover. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And Duncan Robinson Defensive with foul. great focus to Josh get the finish. And what about Duncan Robinson, Brent, Second from undrafted ball. to signing a $90 million dollar contract? Duncan That's Robinson. a nice path to be on, don't you think? Kevin, you got to admire Duncan Robinson taking advantage of his opportunities. Love's checked in for Miami. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Williams has checked in. So much talk about being undrafted out of college. How about Duncan Robinson and how far he's taking his abilities? Now here's Giddy. 19 points in the game. Down low. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. And Butler gets it to go. Me. Butler's got five points now in the quarter. That is a tough two right there from Butler. Really his calling card. Rugged play and 100% effort. Butler on the wing. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Uh, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. That's tipped. Edwards kicks to Giddy. Free throw line jump shot. No good. Third miss. Nine for 12 shooting. The Heat trail by 18. To the middle. Of right side. Butler against Edwards. He's feeling it. Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Here's Hockey. And it's Miami with another. From Jimmy now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He picked up 30 points in their last win against Dallas. Felt like he had a sense in that game that the defense was being over-aggressive, and he tried to take advantage of that. He continually frustrated them throughout the night and got to the free-throw line. 
gives a team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the tent. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. And Butler sends it down. And Jimmy Butler has incredible defensive instincts. Great timing on that block. The pass to Giddy. Takes it from 10. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got his fifth assist in this one. Now here's Butler. 20 points for him last game against Boston. And his passing also off the charts in that game. In just about every aspect of their offense, he was dialed in. That's a huge part of Love's game right now. A catch and shoot player. He has great confidence in that shot. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. First that is his foul. first foul of the game. First team foul. One thirty-six left to play in the first half. Giddy finds Valanciunas, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Valanciunas with brute force on that play, and you get inside like that, you gotta hit the guy. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Listen, 84 is a really good number to post at the foul line, and that's where he's at on the year. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. And he can't hit the second. The Heat trail by 18. Outside Butler. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Well, Butler's a great competitor, and he's playing with some fire right now. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Free throw, good Butler. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Passes it to Valanciunas. And here is Giddy. 23 points in the game. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. For Oklahoma City, they have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. And typically, a strength of theirs, 79% on the season. What's up? That's good from Williams. The Heat trail by 18. There's a minute left now here on the second. Love outside. And again, Miami with the triple. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. A floater. Giddy, no good. Miami's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Robinson passes to Love. Shock up two there. Love's got eight points. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Outside Edwards. Here's Valanciunas. Tries again. He doesn't hit that one. Good D by Love. 
And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And you look how Jimmy Butler stays committed on that play, ready to overcome the defender and still take the shot. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And he's been terrific, guys. I mean, the percentage right around 86%. So, no doubt, he's pleased with that. The free throw drops for Butler. When you think of Jimmy Butler, his work ethic comes to mind. Notably, how hungry he is to win at all costs. And so Butler nails both of them. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Two on the clock. No good that time. And so is Josh Giddy making things happen for Oklahoma City. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. Got a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. How do you guys get back in this game after the first half? Thanks, Josh. I mean, we're getting good ones. We just, I don't know what it is. We had a day off. Should we get our legs under us in the second half, come out, go on a big run like we usually do, we'll be fine. We'll see how it goes. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Oklahoma City has the edge here at halftime. They lead by 11. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Thunder. They're in good shape thanks to the work they're doing on the glass. Uh, their effort has been excellent. The numbers are too. And I don't see those numbers dropping out. They're going to keep doing the dirty work in the second half. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Miami? We've seen a lack of focus and control from them. They've wasted a number of possessions by turning the ball over. It's simple. The score should be closer if they will protect the rock and make the smart play. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You have to like what you're seeing, guys, from Josh Giddy. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. The wingman, it's Hero and Butler. Bam Adebayo is up there with John Collins. And it's Robinson in at the one spot. So that's where Eric Spolster starts the second half with. Here's Giddy after Tyler Hero's bucket. Giddy softly drops in the floater. Giddy. Giddy's got 25 points. And Giddy with the tough floater that time. And stolen by Giddy. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Rebound by the Heat. Robinson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. At the elbow, Collins. Outside, Butler. Deep two from Robinson. And it's Miami with another. Yeah, Duncan really patient there, exploiting the D and operating in the pick and roll. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. 
Thank you, Kevin. Now, heat culture seems to be a cliche, but it's not. Jimmy Butler says, we never lost confidence in this group, in ourselves. We know what we're capable of. We just have to go out and prove it. We're not worried about anybody else, just the guys in our locker room, coaching staff, ownership, management. Back to you guys. Boy, David, aren't they locked in? There's something else. Thank you. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. The Heat trail by 14. Here's Hero. Second chance shot, and that's two points on the layup. Hero's got eight. And a great job by Tyler that time, just getting in there and wanting to be involved in the rebound. Oklahoma City's gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Now here's Giddy, 25 points in the game. Butler against Dort. It's hauled in by the Heat. Outside Butler. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. And finish off by Collins. Yeah, when Collins gets up there like oh, that, look out. Pass to Giddy. The pass to Dort. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Five to shoot. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Bam out of Bayou. So slippery in there. Gilgis Alexander makes great adjustments to get what he wants. The Thunder shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Good from Gilgis Alexander. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Robinson. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. Miami. You can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. And clearly, Eric Spolstra wants to talk it over. And of course, you were known as Bones in your playing game. But what were some of your favorite NBA nicknames? Oh, Kevin, I've been so fortunate to be around the NBA for so long. I go way back to names like Iceman George Gervin or Dr. J Julius Irving or Pistol Pete Maravich, one of my favorite players. But is there any one better than Magic Johnson? Now, here's Collins. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Williams. Count that one. And the Thunder lead by 14. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Here's Butler. He's got 20. Hero with it. Knocks it loose. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the Thunder? I like their defense today. And we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. You can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Gilgis Alexander, good. Well, that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Hero passes to Autobion. This is to Collins. And then Collins slams it in. And there is some intelligence behind the passing of Autobion. Not flashy, but making smart ones. Gilgis Alexander passes to Valanciunas. Dort with the ball. 
over Butler. Rebound by Butler. Hey, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. And there was a foul that goes on Jimmy Butler. That'll be his second foul of the game. Trying to come back, Kevin, and you can't afford too many mistakes. His fourth turnover hampering their efforts. Chet Holmgren, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Oklahoma City leading by 13. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Passes it to Giddy. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Hero. And there's the call on Chet Holmgren. That'll be his second foul of the game. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Nose checked in. Lineup for the Thunder. Isaiah Joe. Miami's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Hero kicks to Kanar. No good that time. Good D by Gilgis Alexander. At the elbow, Williams. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got six assists now in the game. Now, Hero, he's got eight. Three-pointer. Again, the miss by the Heat. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Fires the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Hero's got 11 points. And that time, Tyler Hero just so quick on the pull-up. Defense could not recover. Outside, Dort. Misses the J after tricking the D with the nifty pass there. The Heat trail by 14. Now, Kennard. He's got nine. Here is Williams. Let's a floater go. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Hero against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Otobio. Rebounded by Joe. Joe's got six rebounds now in the game. And the importance of Adebayo to this team cannot be overstated. Well, what they rely on most, Greg, we know is the defensive impact he's going to make. So selfless down there to throw his body around, block shots, get out and guard pick and rolls. And he does it so consistently for this squad. It gives them a chance to win every night because fans are willing to do the dirty work. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. And the Thunder with some changes. Williams, he's checked in for Williams. And it's Edwards in for Dort. Pass to Collins. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. Hawkins. Second person. Kevin Lutz checked in for the Heat. Team foul. Now in the game, Kevin Love. Miami on defense. They trail by 18. Pass to Holmgren. Launches it. Hakez with the rebound. Miami's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Here's Bouye. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Six on the shot clock. It's tipped. Puts up a deep three. The Heat rebound. Kicks it out to Cowan. Here's Bouye. He'll just Alexander cover. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Holmgren finds Edwards. 
Here's Joe. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Here's Bouye. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. Here's a look at some of the stats for Jimmy Butler. The Thunder leading by 20. There's the pass to Holmgren. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. From down in the low post, it goes. Gilgis Alexander's got 23. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. Find How about lane. over 90 percent? Robinson's checked in for John Collins. Josh Giddy's checked in for the Thunder. That free throw, good from Kennard. And Kennard out there to help space the floor with that kind of range. Here's Giddy. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. First personal foul. For Oklahoma City, they have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. At the line for the Thunder, Josh Giddy. Free throw good from Giddy. Yeah, Giddy, one of those guys who, when he's on the floor, plays with that kind of joy that Steve Kerr often talks about with Steph Curry. This is a guy who wants to keep improving in any way that he can. So he hits one of two from the strike. The Heat trail by 20. That's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Edwards passes to Giddy. And it's Miami with the rebound. Kennard's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Bouye. Kennard up top. Edwards against Robinson. And Love has it in the corner. Again, the miss by the Heat. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Kicks to Holmgren. And that comes off the assist by Giddy. Holmgren's got 11 points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Bouye. He'll just Alexander cover it. Oklahoma City foul. Williams. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Forty-six seconds left in the third quarter. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is gonna be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Holmgren can't hit. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Yeah, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 23. And he makes that one. Gilgis Alexander's got 25 points in the game. Keeping that ball absolutely on the string. Gilgis Alexander capable of getting creative. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Thunder out in front, delivering the blowout.
And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Taking a look at the Thunder, we've got Williams. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Joe in at the two guard. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Here's Joe. It's hauled in by the Heat. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Love at the elbow. He'll just Alexander cover And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Now he's done a good job of keeping control of the ball. Even with that turnover, you can tell his teammates trust him to hang on to the pill. Oklahoma City has gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Gil just Alexander passes to Joe. And the rejection by Love. Encouraging signs when Kevin Love is that intense on the defensive end. Swats that one away. And it's Shea Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Joe passes to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Joe. Outside Williams. Good D from Love. And uh, Miami shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. To the inside, Finney Smith with the bounce pass. Passes it to Williams. Hard to believe in the Brent, the three point line was introduced as a one year trial back in 1979. Yeah, crazy. It was so successful in the ABA, and then the 79-80 season kicks in. And if you remember, Kevin, Chris Ford, the first player for the Boston Celtics that was able to knock down the NBA's official first three-pointer. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. No good on that one. Nice D from Cousins. For Oklahoma City, they've gone a dismal 0 for 5 to get the fourth quarter underway. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Hayward's checked in. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Alexander. Releases. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. The Thunder have gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Pass to Williams. Hey, Brent, in general, as we widen the lens here, what do you think current NBA teams could do better? Well, it's going to be interesting, Kevin, to see how with the defensive three-second rule sort of disappearing, how many more coaches are able to implement combinations of zone defenses they are going to take away what it is that a team likes to do in the half court of their execution. Along with that, certainly 
clock management and timeouts, maybe more usage of their actual roster going a little bit deeper during the regular season to explore those kind of tactics. And don't forget about all those experiments. They could happen in the G League as well. And Miami has possession. The Thunder making the shot. Taken away by Williams. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. That's another one for him, his fifth in just seven shots. Oh, that's great, D there. A little petty larceny as he just picks this pocket and takes it coast to coast for the finish. Off target with his three. And here's Haywood. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. In the corner, it's Richardson. Sinks the triple. Richardson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Richardson's pretty consistent at draining that three ball. The D can't allow him to get too comfortable while he's camped out behind the arc. Floats it up for Williams. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Good on the shot. Alexander's got four this quarter. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Now here's Hayward. Miami grabs the miss. Love's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Alexander. Over Hayward. And Hayward with the block. Here's Joe. Brent, you're in a team's front office, and the voices of sports medicine experts seem to be carrying more weight than ever before. Yeah, it's been so interesting to see the way that the league is navigating this because it's hard to say where the proof is that load management is actually working. I mean, during the time that I was playing, I remember Carl Malone and John Stockton getting 82 games in at 38 minutes a night and never missing the contest. So. We'll see if time does tell that guys will get back on the floor and play a little bit more often. Such a skilled guy to guard. First Love a difficult ball. matchup for anybody. Now at the line, Kevin Love. Shooting two. And the first one drops. When you think about post players in the league with who you can run an offense through, and because of Kevin Love's incredible passing ability and vision, he might be at the top of the list as somebody you could play through. Both free throws good from Kevin Love. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Here's Joe. And here's Hayward. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Isaiah Joe. Here's Alexander. Greg, a lot more awareness in the league about the importance of mental health. Why is that so necessary? I mean, Kevin, the level of stress now it has really grown. These players are under this huge microscope that now often extends to their families. And this is such a highly competitive environment. It is far more than just a game. Here is Hayward after the made shot from John Collins. Four on the clock. It's Williams with the drive over Collins. Love grabs the board. Love's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Alexander. Shot from the wing. Alan Junis grabs the board. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. Talk about versatility on offense a lot, but how about on defense? And he takes pride in making an impact down there. Now, here's George. Driving to the basket. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Butler. The Heat making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. Josh Giddy's checked in for the Thunder. Shot clock at three. 
Here's Williams. That is good off the back rim and in. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Now, Hero. Bobbed up there for Collins. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Giddy. Kept alive. Here's Valanciunas. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Yeah, it's going to take a lot more to slow down Valanciunas. He powers right through those guys. And Butler, here we go. The dish to Collins. Williams against Collins. A shot by Williams, no good. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Now here's Butler. He dishes it to Robinson. Shot clock at six. Over Giddy. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That strength and attitude there on the glass shown by Kevin Love. Collins against Williams. Giddy kicks to Williams. That's good. And so Giddy with the assist. assist from 14 Josh points for Williams. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Down low, here's Butler. He gets it in there. 22 points for Butler. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Back to Giddy. And he converts the lane. Terrific feet from Valentunas, a big man scanning the deck. Miami's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Hero passes to Love. Outside Butler. Hey, Brent Reese here as we've seen the rise of sports analytics conventions, pro basketball negotiation competitions. I mean, they're really digging deep. Well, they're not only digging deep, Kevin, but they're giving a tremendous opportunity to a swath of people that never thought they'd be part of the NBA. Look, if you're not six foot eight with a 35 inch vertical, that doesn't mean that you still don't have a place at the table in the NBA if you study hard enough or you can make contributions to what the Three business shots. side of basketball Three is all about. Shots. And that one falls for Collins. Collins has such concentration when he's out on the floor and it can help really steady a basketball team. Edwards, he's checked in for Dort. And he sinks the second. And he makes all three. Well, many people say officiating favors the offense. Uh, Brent, do you agree with that? <laughs> Absolutely. That's what this game is about. It's about scoring. And so there aren't many rule changes that are going to stop guys from being as potent as they've been offensively, especially over the last couple years. Now, here is Robinson. Here's Hero. Kicks it out to Collins. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. And so Edwards will bring it up for Oklahoma City. Here's Joe. He's covered by Hero. Here's Joe off his leg, and it's being called a kickball. Kick 
the pass to Giddy. Lock at six. Pass to Williams. Unloads. And there's another one for the Thunder. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Thunder. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. He just looked like an orchestrator out there. His teammates kept running to the open spot and he found them time and time again. Bam Adebayo. And here are the Heat now. Hero with it. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Well, the defense solid, but Tyler goes inside and stays confident with that hoop. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Now Valanciunas. Back to Giddy. Puts up a three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Giddy. Giddy's got 31. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect the road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Jonas, you have a lot on you in terms of patrolling the paint. How do you think you're doing? I feel good. You know, uh, there is a better game. There is a worse game. But but, uh, you know, I'm bringing energy every game. I'm fighting, and uh, my job is to take rebounds, set a screen. So I'm doing that job. It's grunt work, but you're good at it. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, DA. Thanks again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Craig Anthony, and David Oak, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.